Hello Amazon shoppers. I am just basically showing you real quick the uh, little OBD2 adapter here. You can see it's plugged in there. Comes in this little box. Nothing too fancy. Has a little QR code on it. Has a little information or instructional manual. It tells you the pairing code. I believe it said it was uh, 1234 for this one. And uh, it took a little while to get it connected. Had to play with it a little bit. But it does seem to work. And I'm running Torque Pro, which I've been running before. So... As you can see, communication is fine, real-time data, of course I can check for fault code, things of that nature. So yeah, it works. And the good thing is, in this car when you're getting in and out, you know, this is going to be an area of traffic and you're not going to bump into it, so it's very slim. It's actually slimmer than the other one I have. I'll show you the other one. So, it's just a little bit bigger, this one, than I have here, compared to this. And this one actually gives me the lights, where this one doesn't do that. At least I never have noticed and seen any of the lights light up like this. So, very cool, the little uh, indicator lights. It seems to work really well. works with the uh, Torque Pro app, which I'm using. And there is another application that is available for download for free. However, I am not able to download it to this unit. I will try that on my other... Um, phone and try to show you that app real quick also so we'll jump to that and if that doesn't work then I'll just say thank you for watching this one okay thanks okay so I just wanted to show you the app um, I'm not going to use the app because it doesn't have my car listed so I'm gonna stick with Torque Pro which I've already purchased um, this app doesn't have my car in it so it doesn't do me any good and when it is connected it uh, it gives some information. It's decent as far as the app goes, but I just prefer the uh, Torque app a lot more. So I'll be sticking with that. But it's a little finicky uh, connecting. It took a little while to get it to connect. Um, I'm going to uninstall this app for sure. And uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, it works really well so as you can see no problems communicating up all the real-time data fine and of course they say you can scan for error codes and things so anyway it's pretty much it okay so the little adapter works it's a little finicky getting it uh, going initially but uh, could be worse some of them don't work at all. Thanks for watching.